Lindsay Fry rolled out just after sunrise, starting a 96-mile journey across the valley. The Coyotes executive's main motivation was keeping alive the memory of one special little girl. I think the most important part for me and the most meaningful is the fact that um, people are remembering Layton and they're feeling inspired by Layton and uh, that's, that's the biggest thing. The trek started at Phoenix Children's Hospital in honor of Coyote superfan Layton Accardo. The nine-year-old passed away from stage four cancer last year. Layton's siblings joined Fry for part of the journey that took her to every ice rink in the valley before finishing at Gila River Arena. Uh, it, it says a lot about how strong the hockey community is here in Arizona. Um, you know, every rink did their part to make sure they showed support today, um, and that means a lot. Skate hard, have fun was a phrase Layton always said, something Fry used to push her to the finish line. Anytime I caught myself getting frustrated, I just reminded myself, you know, skate hard, have fun, and put a smile on my face. On average, a rollerblader skates 8 to 16 miles per hour. Despite the endurance battle, Fry has felt the support from fans throughout every stride. Uh, the crowds were huge, um, especially toward the end. Just I, I needed them just to get that energy and stay external. An avid hockey player, Layton became an honorary teammate of the Coyotes, leaving a lasting impact on the organization. Just knowing how how much joy she brought to everyone. I think that's the one thing that she left behind and, and the one thing that we obviously wear on, on our helmets and she's gone, but obviously not forgotten and will be a part of this organization for, for a very long time. The goal was to raise $49,000 for a girls hockey scholarship fund in Layton's name. The total has exceeded $70,000. In Glendale, Madden Johnstone Thomas, Cronkite News.